Nick. Oh, crap. No, he would have been here. Yeah, he would have been here. So that means he's... He's on his way back? Damn it, Nick! Damn it, Nick! <laughs> ah! Where is he? Where is he? Is it even possible to catch him? Sucks. No, nah, he's gone. All right. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to uh, the detective agency at some point and and fetch him. Um, Cause uh, there was no way for me to get to him <laughs> without actually entering the building, and that means that uh, yeah, he's. Uh, He's just wandered off. Hmm. 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 Oh, I don't like this guy. <laughs> I mean, at least I, um... At least they didn't get too badly beat up. Uh... Alright, let's try this a third time. Third time's a charm, right? Ah... <sighs> I guess I could have gone back to sleep, um, at the bed. That might not have been a bad idea. I'm trying to work out though. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I know where this is. All right, so yeah, okay. Oh, oh Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. I'm not sure if I need Nick anymore, to be honest. Um, I was only bringing him along because of, um, because of the Far Harbor stuff, but I guess we're kind of almost sort of near the completion of that and um and the storyline with Dima and everything there's not much more to that right so yeah, yeah. it's um oh I'm detected by something Detected by. detecting me is it Nick has Nick come back oh hmm. Can get a clear shot on him Um, 
this whole situation I'm in. I can't really see anything because of the light. Okay, what do we got? Mm -hmm. Ooh. What's going on over there? Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Uh huh. So I guess... I guess we can go up here. I don't really want to be on the low ground. I'm not seeing any more guys. Any more mutants. Is that all of them? That are on the outside anyway? Um... I guess I just have to... That seems like... Yeah, that doesn't go anywhere. Right, so that goes in there. I don't know what's in there though. So let me come back to that. Um, make sure I have cleared all of the outside first. Ah, oh, that's going to be such a hassle to go have to go after Nick. Um, at least I know where he is. Um, actually, what's the what's the date today? Where is it? The tenth of December. Um, because I kind of wanted to go back to. I kind of wanted to go back to Diamond City for Christmas, because <laughs> I like Diamond City at Christmas. It's it's very cool. Um, so I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world to head back there. Uh, and maybe I'll go talk to Kasumi and, uh, and and maybe tell her to go home and then settle that whole thing. Uh, what's that noise? Huh? Hmm. In factory. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't know if there's any more up here, actually. I don't think there is. I haven't even come close to being detected yet, and I'm traipsing... Oh. Is that something? No, no, no. I'm traipsing around in power armor. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> <There you are. laughs> 
as I I say as I get detected. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I didn't even see where he was. terminal hmm of him so apparently I'm tired right now does that mean my yeah so caffeinated has worn off can we have some more caffeine uh Nuka Vim. Yeah, get that caffeine going. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess we look at the terminal. Uh, user logs. Taste of Maine. I really can't believe this marketing wants me to develop a new drink, but all they've given us to go on is the taste of Maine. I swear to God, Norman just thinks that if he can string a few words together, things will just magically appear. What does that even mean? Fine. They want the taste of Maine, <laughs> and that's what we'll give them. Oh dear. It's actually not terrible. After firing off a couple of angry letters, I decided to to try to show them just how stupid this idea was. We took bottles from Vim Classic uh, of Vim Classic and brewed it up with fiddleheads, lobster shells and a couple of other extracts and I was sure this was going to be absolutely disgusting. The thing is, it definitely tastes kind of weird but it's actually not as terrible as I thought. Maybe if we work on the flavor profile a bit, cloves or aster extract what the hell, we can try taste testing it. At least we will keep them off my back while I figure something else out. I just got the label proofs from Mr. Reed. They are actually going forward with this crazy thing. Despite taste testers saying it what has a fishy taste, they seem to actually be liking it. The acid extract seems to cover up the, uh, the aromatics of the lobster somehow. I really can't explain why anyone likes this thing. Apparently... They're going to call it the Captain's Blend, at least for now. Some of our taste testers have reported having weird smelling sweat after drinking Captain's Blend. I mean, I'm not really surprised. There is a lot of lobster in there, but it gets weirder than that. One of the testers said that he's a commercial fisherman and just loves the taste. He's been buying cases of the testers to bring out on his boat. The weird thing is he claims that when he's been drinking Captain's Blend, the lobsters seem less prone to attack him when he tastes when he takes them out of their cages it sounds ridiculous but i mean what if it was actually true huh okay <laughs> oh yeah we I, we know we know the power of uh, the captain's blend it will protect me from the sea creatures of the deep but um i i don't think I will ever use it for that for some reason. Uh, I, I doubt I will ever use it at all, to be honest. So, okay, there is a mutant down here. Somewhere. I just don't know where. Yeah. He saw me pretty quickly last time. Oh, is he in there? Okay, okay, okay. So is there another way down? Uh... Oh... So that goes down to that level, which then goes into there, is that right? 
That's just gonna go back in there. And that's not especially useful. this advanced lock okay oops ah what am I doing maybe I should uh head back and save it <laughs> while I'm while the going is good I mean aside from the fact that we lost Nick uh, that was tragic of course. But, um, oh, wait, so, yeah, okay, so this is here, and then there's the door that goes into the factory, okay, um, what's that, oh, okay, so they want me to go back there, all right, no, that's not gonna happen. that's not gonna happen, but I do want to kind of look into that walkway, before I head back into the factory. Um, peckish from lack of food. I suppose we should deal with that, huh? Food, 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 food. More wolf ribs and... Squirrel bits, I guess. Uh huh? <sighs> I, I gave Nick a bunch of my stuff, didn't I? And then he just walked off with it. I just realized he's got a bunch of junk. I want that junk back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get him. Ah, oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. I really didn't want to have to run after him. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Well, if I am not mistaken, uh, I should be able to. Uh, to get back into the factory up here, I think this is probably the top of the stairs. Uh, that stone stairwell thing, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, this is where I thought it would be. Okay. Okay. I can't remember if I've checked this terminal or not. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm, I may as well give it a look. Um, Bastard program. The Vim Bastard program is a ground level advertising campaign to bring Vim directly to the consumers. Approved staff members will bring an ad advertising truck out to population centers dressed in custom paints. Painted suits of power armor. Our Vim ambassadors will hand out bottles of Vim, Vim Refresh, Vim Quartz. They will answer questions and give out contact information for our sales and distribution team. Okay. Ooh. 
I get schematics for the paint job. Okay. The ambassador program is a ground level advertising. Oh no, I've already read that. Okay. Uh, in this area, we paint and maintain the suits of Vim Power Armor, or just Power Armor, used by Vim Ambassadors. These stalwart friends carry the message of Vim's great taste to our local communities. Be on the lookout for them in your hometown, where they may be coming soon to give away free bottles of Vim. Uh, wait for guests to finish arriving. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, that's that's really educational. I I'm so glad I read that. All right, uh. I think because I don't I don't want to I don't want to boo Something nearly heard me. Hmm. So I know I can get outside by going down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh and I have been through here, right? Um, I really don't want to get myself into trouble, guys, so I, I want to go back outside and save the game um, in that bed that I've been using. So yeah, I've, I've been through all of here. I've done all of this. Um, what was this? Oh, it's just that. Okay. Uh... So last time, I think what happened is I went over there and cleared out that section. And there's still this dumping of footsteps behind this wall. I don't know if... I don't know if that's coming through on the recording, but that is super loud to me. Um, but hey, I have like noise cancelling headphones on and stuff, so... Uh, I, I ought to be ha able to hear it pretty clearly. Um, so I, I don't think there was anything else on this side that I hadn't done, right? Um, if, if I remember, so I should be able to get through here. Yeah. And I had been up on there and I, Taken out all the mutants in there. I don't think I'd fully explored the lower level. But I don't think there's anything in here, because nothing nothing really nothing really detected me when I was doing this the last time. What is what is this? Okay. Uh I guess this is all just... Hmm. There is the sound of that spotlight or whatever. Um, and I really don't have the faintest idea where that is. <sighs> so I think I've pretty much cleared all this. Unless this goes out somewhere else. Oh. Oh, that's somewhere else. Okay, so there is another section here. like a basement area. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I am curious. I don't know if I'm that curious though. <laughs> How big is this area? Oh. 
Hmm. Well, that deals with the spotlight, I guess. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was wondering where that thing was. It was annoying the hell out of me. Does that mean there are a bunch of more rats in here? Um... I suppose it could be worse. There are worse things than more rats. Oh, is this the big door? Okay, so something, something around here. It kind of sort of detected me just then. Right. Okay, so this is the door where the, the where the thing is from, right? Now you've got to be able to hear that. <laughs> so there's something in there. So I don't really want to open that door. Can I? Yeah, okay. So where is this? Oh, is this the round room that I... Ah, oh, yeah, 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 okay. But I don't know where that goes. I think I know where this goes, this part. What is... Why is this more teddy bears? <laughs> no, the Vim is mine! Get away from it, teddy bear. Yeah, so that goes up there where, um, where that teddy bear was hanging on a hook. I remember this. I remember this. Okay. So where did this other one go? Hmm. Yeah. Is this part of an area that I haven't done before? really don't know guys oh wait no there's a fire yeah okay so I killed a guy over here somewhere last time and then I looked down there and I said oh no I don't really want to go down there so I'm pretty sure yeah I'm pretty sure this room is clear um So what is this? Oh, I remember that. Do I want to go up there for something? I could always go use that. I can use that door to get in there, but I don't know whether there's anything. Oh, I might need to get to that terminal. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> um. I know where this is, uh, so what am I going to do, I think, um, no I don't want to go back out there, because um, that'll take me back into the, um, this is a corporate headquarters, so I think what I need to do then, oh but there's no way else, there's no way out of here other than that, or I can go through there, uh, yeah, yeah I can get to the other staircase from here. I don't know where that goes though, um, but I think, no, 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 if I take this, yeah, okay, if I take this door, it'll take me out to the, um, out to the truck, okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sleep, 
uh, to save the game because I've done quite a bit uh, taking out everything in the corporate headquarters as well as all along the rooftops and things. Um, and then I'll come back uh, and, and finish that off. I don't know <laughs> how tough it's going to be, particularly now that I've lost Nick. I can't believe he walked away. Ah, uh, I, I, I know, I, I know, I kind of left him there to die, but, uh, but, uh, I, I didn't really have a lot of choice. Um, I suppose I could have just not jumped off the edge of the building, and that way I would have been able to get back to him, but, no, uh, I, I wasn't going to risk it. I, uh, I was, um, Yeah, I was in a bit of a precarious situation. I didn't want to take my chances too much. Uh, this is survival difficulty. Death is is certainly a uh, much bigger punishment than in any other difficulty. So I, I do try to avoid dying. Man, it's been so long since I died, hasn't it? I'm trying to remember the last time. Um... I think I died a couple of times off of camera just running back and forth between Diamond City and Good Neighbor. <laughs> but I don't think I've died since then, so that's... That's always good, <laughs> I guess. Either I'm getting better at the survival thing, or... Uh, I'm I'm just getting to the level where it's, it's not really as much of an issue. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna sleep on this bed for quite a while because I am quite tired and I'll finish up this video here also and uh, next time I will come back and um, and do the rest of Vimpa Factory as well as probably head over to here and look for a launch key. Or go back to the nucleus and turn in that quest. Or go... No, I don't know. Or maybe I'll go look for Nick. <laughs> he went home, so... Maybe I should go fetch him. Or I'll just go fetch Longfellow and, and do the rest of Longfellow stuff. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, and please do give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next video.